press the bell icon on the YouTube app to never miss a video from News Laundry. Welcome to News Laundry Chota Hafta. For the full episode, subscribe because it is behind the paywall and only subscribers get access to uncut, complete content. News Laundry Hafta is our weekly wrap of all that made the news, all that didn't and all that should have and all that shouldn't have. We agree, we disagree, we critique and occasionally we beat each other up. But it's all good fun. Subscribe. This is a News Laundry podcast and you're listening to NL Hafta. Okay, hello and welcome to News Laundry Hafta. Angrez apna lagan or News Laundry apna hafta kabhi nai chhodte. When the public pays, the public is served. When advertisers pay, advertisers are served. I encourage everybody to subscribe to News Laundry and pay to keep news free. Before I introduce the panel and we have a wonderful guest with us today who's coming straight from the parliament and she was telling us some stories of what's happening in parliament today with very nice actions. Hopefully she will tell us some stories in the course of the hafta. We have a very important announcement to make. The media rumble is back in 2019 after two wonderful years where we got a fantastic response from all of you. 2019 will have even more speakers than 2018 had. Uh, we will have speakers like Gulzar, favorite. Shekhar Gupta will be there. We'll have Vivian Schiller who headed NPR and also New York Times Digital, I think, uh, in the past. And she's just started a new collaborative journalism platform called Civic. The director from Nobody Speak. Oh, yes. And the director of Nobody Speak. If any of you watch that film, Nobody Speak, the director of that film will be coming. Uh, it's on Netflix on journalism, as well as the editor of one of the newspapers that has been featured in that film. Then there will be, like I said, Gulzar, there's Shekhar Gupta, Swarabh Haskar, Milan Khandekar, and Madhu Trehan, of course, will be there. Prakash Raj is going to be there. So do come. If you're a News Laundry subscriber, you will get entry for free. If you are not a News Laundry subscriber, go to themediarumble.com and uh, yeah, register, buy your ticket, and do join us. So Mufat Khor is a good time to become a subscriber. Paisa vasool ho jayega aapka. Uske ilawa, we have some other podcasts that I highly encourage you to listen to. The Daily Dose to get your daily update on what's in the news. And also, Reporters Without Orders. Our young team of journalists tells you what they covered, what they would like to cover and what they missed. On that note, let me introduce our guest. Hi, Nistula. Hi. So, Nistula Hebar, that is a very interesting name. I'll ask you a little bit about your name once I've introduced you. You have to. <laughs> okay, you you get that a lot? Yes, yeah. too, much, too many times. So, so you should have a laminated card with explanation. I should, yeah. I should. <laughs> so she's worked at the Times of India, the Economic Times. Right now she is the political editor of the National Bureau of the Hindu. She's been a senior assistant editor at the Financial Express as well. She's from Jesus and Mary College and Delhi School of Economics. And she's also author of a book called Kiss and Tell. And she has contributed to two books, Cabals and Kings and the Lives of Muslims in India. So before we come to, I'm curious about what is kiss and tell. Uh, what is Nistula Hebar? Give me that, that you name. You want to get back to that, is Yeah, it? let okay. me start with the basics. Nistula is a, it's a Sanskrit name. It's okay. from uh, the Lalita Saharsanamam. It's one of the thousand names of the Devi Durga. Oh, I see. Okay. Hebar is my surname. I see. Yeah. I like okay. to keep a little bit of mystery. Now you can keep, keep guessing where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> Another name I really like is Vardarajan Mudaliyar. Like, you know, if, if you had, like, if I'm a Don, like, if I was a Don, I'd say I'm Nistula Hebar. It, like, don't mess with me. Like, she you doesn't say, look like a Don. Uh, she no. looks... She doesn't actually, know, but you look like uh, somebody who should be on television. Yeah? Yeah. But I... My husband's in television and... Uh, I know. That's right. Yeah, that's not a life I want. <laughs> As in, he's an actor? No. Okay. He's, no, he's, he's a journalist. With, uh, yeah, he's with Beyond now. Oh, he's a, he's he's a, a journalist. journalist. Okay. Yeah. What's his name? Kartike Sharma. Kartik Sharma. Yeah. Okay. Oh, with the goatee sharp features? No. No, okay. I'm good. To no, with the round fat features. Okay. So, good. <laughs> so I, no, but Nistula Hebar, like, like, this is something that someone had always told me that you can't have, like, Anand Vardhan. If I said, Aaj, Aaj ek lecture literature pe dene aara hai koi, I'd say Anand Vardhan dene aara hai. If I'd say, Aaj mujhe koi peetne aara hai, Vardhan mudhuli aara hai. You know, what I'm saying, that name, like, it's, it's like, uh, when I can always say that you can't have Doctor. No, but Don's names are usually uh, sort of an. Uh, Gambar Singh uh, type. Gambar. No, 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 they're like Raja Bhaiya. So Bhaiya. Yeah, but, but, that's, but you will not have Don Anil Mishra or Don's Siddharth Kapoor. No, Daku Siddharth Kapoor are. Or Raja looks more from the south. Daku will happen. always be a Gambar Singh or a 
trikal or one of these anyway mm. what are we talking about this is a news show okay. <laughs> so 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 in this the lies looking and what's kiss and tell about it's a novel huh. and uh it's based in delhi and it's basically a chiclet I so see. it was just a fun read something that you can read like in two hours straight and just right. finished up as long as it takes to read a basically long form of caravan No, not so much no, <laughs> but it's more readable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So a lot happened this week in fact I was just seeing a uh, a wonderful producer Karthik had set this down. By the way Karthik someone on Twitter pointed out that the last time when I said that you don't get your um, database up to speed I was said it was very wrong of me to tick you off on the podcast so I apologize. And Anil a wonderful sound recorder thank you Anil I was just telling Karthik uh, about the, <laughs> it's such a rich news week I mean just see all the stuff that happened we of course won't have time to discuss already just discuss three things okay let's move on now to uh, the biggest issue that actually our reporters on the ground doing and it is getting coverage I'd like to start this off with Anand then come to Madhu I'm talking about the encephalitis cases in Bihar Right now there are over 600 complaints and encephalitis cases that have been recorded in hospitals the death toll is inching towards a 150 i think it's touched 140 already it is a horrible horrible situation to be in and uh, in the press conference where after you know the death toll had reached 100 there's a few year, days ago i think there's a day india was playing pakistan the bihar health minister mangal pandey while the cameras were rolling was asking for the cricket score so Yeah first of all you're from Bihar um and maybe Madhu and Anand can jointly give an answer to this cuz I have no clue why and also I will come to Anjana Ompeshap and there's one more journalist apparently from TV9 also who created a similar Anjum. shindi Anjum something Ajit Anjum Ajit Anjum he apparently did a similar tamasha in oh, the really? ICU Ajit Anjum is very very senior He did a good job ah. okay no but someone said he was also in the ICU no, shoving no, no, his mic no, into the No 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 he did a very good job Okay, someone just no, no, that child, no, that was, reporter, right? What there was, he did a very good. He, in fact, he no, no, no. You're talking about the guy who was talking about the BJP fellow, right? Uh-huh. No, no. Someone told he me he was that from was, uh, TV Nine. Okay, then there's basically there was another reporter with a mic and everyone. Sorry, Karthik, you're telling me what was that? Was he in the ICU with his whole equipment without the mouth covered and all that? Yeah, there yeah, was another all, reporter. All I see. All three of them were in that. Group. So I, I, I mean, I think there's a problem. We'll discuss that also, but. uh what is encephalitis and why is bihar uh, struck by it every year so what is encephalitis i am not right man madhu can tell us that but yeah why bihar what that. is it about so, bihar so even uh, so very prominent doctors are uh, failing to answer that mm. they have put it in a uh, lo- uh, means larger family of uh, um, disorders or diseases whatever you call it uh, encephalitis uh, no acute encephalitis syndrome which also includes uh, encel- uh, encephalopathy and it's somehow uh, similar to jamaican fever mm. that was uh, 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 seen in jamaica where uh, eating of a particular fruit uh, yeah, triggered it triggered it was not the cause but it triggered it someone has lo- tried lo- this up with l- lychee right ha uh-huh. so mm. l- um see there are many different kinds of encephalitis this particular one has been isolated as coming from the lychee season where small kids eating lychees uh, late at night meaning in the evening and then going to bed on an empty stomach and lychees have a certain toxin which a healthy normal child can absorb with a normal meal if however the child has only eaten lychees and is also undernourished and is undernourished and is not in a Uh, normal weight healthy condition when the ch- child goes to sleep the b- body cannot process that sugar so what happens is an extreme hypoglycemic state takes place and by the time in a couple of hours the child will be unconscious exhibit neurological changes and if the child is not given a 10% dextrose immediately for 4 hours the the child goes into a coma and dies so it's um, so that's the illness and one of the things i noticed in many of the pictures of the coverage was that in the hospitals parents and attendants are holding the dextrose in their hands meaning they don't even have enough the stands, stands. Mm. so for like hours on end there's you a parent holding up. it so really the issue is the lack of uh, facilities 
It's mm. I I think it's not. Uh, you can't pinpoint it point it to a one person or one government. It's a systemic historical neglect of the medical area. Anand. Uh, so uh, uh, with respect to Mujapurpur, slight correction in the timeline. The cases that have been reported, mm. uh, same what she is saying, but. Uh, the it is that early morning the mm. children who sleep without uh, dinner mm. and early morning at one or two get, they get up and uh, accompany their parents to lychee orchards mm. uh, for and uh, bunches of lychees are plucked or uh, so for uh, because Mujapurpur lychees are very famous sahi, mm. sahi lychees they are exported to Europe also and mm. a lot of other countries yes, 4 a.m. Yeah. is the yes 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yeah. is yeah. the plucking time so and uh, there are experts who suggest that uh, if they had dinner they could have dealt with it also none of the well of children have been inflicted by it uh, it's uh, only the uh, yes social uh, uh, economic uh, uh, well, uh, there's a very good report in the hindu uh, 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 explaining uh, yeah, this. so well well nourished children and have the not been exp- mm. so the low blood sugar level pe- people with that uh, it triggers it somehow i don't know the comp- mm. anyway the media angle of it i am coming to it sure. so uh, mm, the la- last major outbreak was in 2012 when the death count was greater than this time it was around 156 that was uh, the version of the of, of uh, RP Ojha was the secretary home department so that's the bureaucratic version it could have been higher mm. so it's even less it's uh, it's less this time mm. but uh, so far uh, uh, mm. so far we How? were not so out of far, it yes. mm. so what I'm saying is that that time uh, the uh, uh, local newspapers started uh, reporting it on 31st May 2012 and the first time that it was reported in a Delhi newspaper was on 18th June 2012. The 18 days time lag. Mm. This is not the time. Uh, now case it's immediate. Now. So, uh, and newspaper, only two, three newspa- new newspapers have come. Newspapers were same. Two, three new channels have come, were same. In digital properties, some digital properties have come within last seven years, mm. but media scene was same, uh, similarly populated as this one. It, it was not that. So now there is a problem of plenty. Mm. There is over coverage. Maybe it's a good welcome problem, mm. but uh, with uh, what it's more in a, it may be in a, more in quantitative terms rather than qualitative. But it's still, even if it's quantitative, it's good. At least an issue uh, that needs to so, be discussed uh, so, is being discussed. So, uh, uh, so, uh, even sorry. even Hindi newspapers, the Delhi-based Hindi newspapers took it after seven days. Uh, this, uh, I think uh, Jagran or uh, Hindustan was the first Delhi newspaper to report it, and that was on 7th June in 2012. So, uh, but local Patna-based local ladies had re- started reporting it on 31st, and 12, 13 deaths were on 31st only. Also. It's, it was not that political stories from Patna were not coming. I saw the newspapers of the time. Um, so uh, the Hindu Express were carrying carrying reports from Patna-based correspondents, the Delhi editions. They were about Nitish hits at Modi and this kind of uh, stories, but no encephalitis coverage. Okay, now I want to come to the Mukherjee Nagar incident that we've done a ground report on. Two of our reporters went, they spent two days there speaking to villagers. Of course, the man who shot that video, our reporters met him. He did not want to be identified, but he spoke to them when he started recording. I have a question. Let me start with Anand because he's a son of, from someone from the police. Um, uh, yeah, his, uh, so I have a, I, I have a, not a very sympathetic take on the police. And, uh, why is it that when something like this, like the later videos of people attacking the police station and beating up this, I think that was an ACP who was being beaten up at, li- at ACP, night. ACP. And I remember I had, I've repeated this on the Hafta earlier. I mean, I've said this on the Hafta earlier, I'm just repeating it, that a friend of mine whose dad was at one stage the top cop of the country had told me uh, that, uh, he says, Nikku, tu police followers are very nafrat karta hai, lekin achche hai bure. The day society is not afraid of cops, society will break down. So it's better to have corrupt cops who people are afraid of than to have honest cops who people are not afraid of. I no, didn't but it's the poor people who are, they take them in, beat beat the hell out of them yeah. and, and then make them confess to anything. The people, no, I but, think there's a difference. But why are we at a stage where 
that video does show uh, what is sarji's name uh, sarab sarabjit. sarabjit it does show him taking out a kirpan and hitting a cop and anywhere in the world you cannot take out a weapon against a cop I, i don't think that's gray that's black and white no matter what the provocation it's, was it's a, it's a crime it's a, yeah it's a and section it's, and it's a black and white yeah. thing you can't do that yet the amount of sympathy he has got is enough for the home ministry to ask for a report and no one has had the guts to back Delhi up the court has also asked for of, a report no, so that is because of men in khaki the way they behaved as had beating, beating up that, up that a minor civilian and is, that 15 year old ah, the minor they started ah, beating up his yes. son but i would just him. like to hear anand's version of view of that of also the coverage you know, the coverage has been too sympathetic to sarabjit is that also a part of the problem without showing the cops point of view what do you think i need two disclaimers first so i am i am son of a very low ranked police officer okay not a, so uh, that the my encounters with top ranked police officers are basically my students who get into ips okay. so um, then that is uh, so but uh, i am talking from low level second my more association with this case is that i am a resident of that colony oh you are okay so, yes. so were you part of that mob so, okay yeah. we must everyone yeah. kartik when you see the footage next time just see if he is part of the cop who is heroic that police station of shoutrex so uh, he was I, just standing on the side chair so i have been uh, living in that area for yes. say last 18 or 20 years so the uh, relationship between auto rickshaw driver and police is very sensitive there i see very very sensitive there for a lot of reasons and that is also known as a colony of auto rickshaw drivers okay. that's a refugee colony after partition this uh, it's actually dr shyama prashad mukherjee colony okay. so uh, since uh, mr mukherjee was popular among the rss workers who worked with the refugees mm. uh, the colony was named after him i see so uh, s- s- same is the story with rajen nagar because rajen prashad was seen to uh, as uh, more sympathetic to hindu interest so and the refugees that is also a refugee rajen colony nagar, yeah. near karol bag yeah so uh, Uh, uh the it is sensitive because of the collection racket mm. the metro station they park uh, near um, uh, their autos near uh, metro station uh, to pick up so, sorry uh, once in a 2 3 months time they crack down when dcp visits or they uh, or uh, say just To, uh, when the collections are falling maybe uh. so they uh, uh, crack down to so uh, so their coercive part now it they, it's a very kind of uh, the, the power dynamics is that uh, too many auto rickshaw drivers also somehow and they are there have been clashes with isolated police men in that area and in last 2 uh, 3 months if you read the local pages of delhi newspapers some of the cops not in, Muk- in mukherjee nagar have been killed by random criminals with this mm. so the isolated constable is anyway threatened he he mm. is not a very powerful man means right. and uh, the moment he is hit he is as uh, helpless as a, a normal citizen and the moment he sees someone from his fraternity he becomes all powerful mm. and uh, because uh, he can drag you to police station and do anything because his violence is mandated yeah, by definitely. the Still, is. is not. So we had a discussion in NL Church about uh, the um, the coercive dynamics and uh, the feudal setup, and that's all academic discussion. And so uh, it would be, I would be not be re- re- repeating it. Mm. But uh, um, uh, th- that that is one part uh, of the th- of this. I think uh, uh, if you see the. a religious symbolism part became uh, very important for it because they didn't want it, it to be an anti sikh violence right uh, and uh, delhi police being in control of ministry of home affairs the central government association there so uh, it uh, they didn't want to give an anti sikh message that, that that's why the uh, the accent seems disproportionate to the actual uh, dynamics of the violence because uh, the two persons were uh, um, uh, the initiators i think he went uh, with the kirpan and uh, wanted to hit him now if you go back to it is we had discussed it here some akali dal mp had said that why can't we uh, 
enter parliament with kirpan if hindus can enter with jano mm. so uh, uh, that same uh, simple answer you can't kill anyone with a jano <laughs> no depends Dep- if it's really strong and made you of chinese the, manja you, you need to know the creative use of jano for that uh. so so so, 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 so what is your view on this please educate us on the creative use of <laughs> jano <Chinese. laughs> Do you think? Although I will say I saw one journalist. I forget which channel it is. I have to start taking notes while watching TV. Um, he was on Blake's suck up job. कि आप इतना काम करते और फिर भी आप पर हाथ उठाते ऐसे लोगों को तो मैंने कहा तुझे रात को खाना मिल रहा है वहाँ क्या तुझे अगले दस साल की प्रोटेक्शन मिल रही है तेरी बैक बन जाएगा ये ऑफ कोर्स डेट वाज कंप्लीटली द अदर एंड बट डू यू थिंक द कवरेज वाज too one sided well i've only read the print uh, reports basically because i don't usually follow much of mm. tv news at night because there's a lot of shouting going on so i mm. try to avoid that and uh, the ideas in our newsroom uh, were that there is more to this story than you know meets than the just eye the video. And, and pretty much what uh, anand was saying is what the reporters the hindus reporters crime reporters and others were also saying that you know there are layers to this story and it's being made out to be something that it may not be in the sense it's it's a flare up that happened mm. and all this religious and other things that were put there it's it makes it a political uh, issue from what was a random act of violence i think the video did the trick in you know because the video was course, so because so because you saw that manjinder singh sirsa also getting beat yeah, he also got yeah, beat now he got beat now eight eight guys in khaki you know hitting the civilians this, this did not go well with the public mm. and uh, whatever we saw during the day was anarchy and whatever we saw at the police station mm. later in the night that was also anarchy so so this is i mean this is uh, we need to con- conduct but i think both, video like, sorry you, you but you, i find that there are a lot of people also who are sympathetic to the plight of the police it's not like they're not no, mm. maybe not in this situation mm. but i do remember about a couple of years back or maybe two and a half years back if you remember the there was a sub inspector who was shot dead in mathura where there was that uh, before the up elections you remember there was a baba ji who had uh, grabbed land Uh, near Mathura, mm-hmm. and the cops. Uh, there was a court case which went against uh, the the uh, the Babaji the and the ashram, mm. and the cops were going to vacate, uh, get the land vacated, and mm. they get these people evicted. And he was shot, and that created a huge hangama. And there were a lot of people who felt that if a cop can get shot, sure. so so close to Delhi, then uh, you know the apocalypse is upon us, and mm. you know those kind of things. Then, if you remember, just now, U P police. uh i think one inspector was shot and there were these very gruesome videos mm-hmm. of him you know shot dead in his mm-hmm. car yes. and you know those kind yeah, of things yeah in the car i saw yeah. that one yeah right yeah so it's not a uniform situation where and the, your friend's father you know is not hugely wrong that you know if the cops don't get uh, if, if there's you, a fear of cops then yeah you, you could have but i think huh. one thing that video has done you know making video more easily available this particular video was inside it makes yeah. cops they are more on the defensive i mean I'm sure a lot of youngsters today also dislike cops. But when I was in college, what a cop could do to you was phenomenal. Like Delhi Police. I mean, so you remember, I you know, know, back I in know. the you know late eighties, early nineties, if you had like ten murderers on one side of the road and ten cops on one or even five, I'd walk on the side of the ten murderers because they may just let me go. The cop would not. They'd find a reason to screw you. Yeah, I have been stopped every time for no reason. You were stopped. उतरो क्या एंड बेसिकली यू हैड एवरी थिंग इन ऑर्डर बट यू हैव टू पे हिम ऑफ सो दैट यू कैन गो ऑन विद योर वर्क टूडे इट्स नॉट दैट बैड बैक इन इट इज इट इज दैट बैड यू हैड डन नथिंग रॉन्ग यू आर जस्ट ड्राइविंग लेट एट नाइट इफ बाय चांस सम वन हैपन्स टू इन द कार विद यू देन तो यू फक सो आई हैव वेरी लिटल सिंपथी और यू नो एम्पथी फॉर द पुलिस फोर्स बिकॉज द स्टेट द फोर्स दैट दे हैव they can use violence against you and the they might of the state yeah. is behind i mean even an mp can't slap you a cop can slap you and get away with it so i think this video has made cops more defensive today if a cop messes with you a bit too much and you mess with him back he'll think 10 times for hitting you in the 90s he would not give a shit he'd whack you immediately i just saw the videos of the swearing in ceremony madhuri did you see those videos so yes 
so what is your view those of you who haven't seen it you know My everybody my view is like next time we'll hear a swearing arm and say jai haldiram i mean why yeah it was awful so no much do it someone there's, i think it's a shame this whole thing of jai shri ram and uh, one thing i think it's there's clearly no need for sloganeering when you're taking a swearing arm and it's, I, I think it's clearly being used as an intimidation that see what we can do like i don't think there's any need for when asaduddin owaisi is walking to start shouting jai shri ram like it's clearly to show that dude now we're in control it's mm. provocative and i just find the defense of that behavior um uh like you're saying they sharam nahi hai the what is acceptable like what trump is doing i got hugely trolled uh, because it was i think this uh, pragya thakur uh, who started off this entire thing of straying from the oath from the text of the oath all right so you had the first few people doing going including prime minister modi and amit shah and everybody just sticking to the text doing the job going back this lady comes and in, uh, instead of the name that she has put i mean in her election affidavit that's the legal document you have to show that to the mm. lok sabha secretariat mm. all right and then you get to you have to show your winning certificate she starts off first of all in sanskrit that's fine you have a choice of taking your oath in sanskrit but then she gives her instead of her father's name she gives her guru's spiritual guru's name mm. so obviously that is you know basically impersonation right that is not the name that is there in your certificate yes, so the right. opposition raised a uh, legitimate question saying that why is she she's try try to explain to them that i am a sadhvi and this is my guru and in uh, uh, in sanyasi life the, he is your father I, so you know i said that uh, you know i of course uh, had no truck with that kind of thinking as if the oath ceremony has been okay for the members of parliament of india for the last 70 years so why is it not okay for you and you know it's not like you're the first sanyasi uh, to take oath in this house we have uma bharti also taking oath and we didn't hear of any ruckus mm. uh, in all the times that she was uh, mp uh, on this issue that is my spiritual father and i should take his name so even if you want to take your spiritual father's name then you change your certificates by deed poll because there's a process in there place. is a process involved and if that process works with the prime minister of india and your party's president people who have given you a ticket to contest so then then you bloody well so when all the sloganeering was happening all of this, modi was sitting she, there in the and i think she did say uh, uh, some jeff shri ram or something like that at the end of it but she was the one who started this process of friend, yeah she ram. derailed she the, the whole oath taking otherwise it was going on absolutely fine because i was in the house uh, just before all this happened i'd left because it was again in the first half of the day the first half of the day went swimming we swimmingly hmm. well there was absolutely nothing so when wrong. this happened was modi in parliament no he, he left had gone. he had left okay yeah because he was so, the prime minister and i'm wondering if they would behave with such an unruly fashion with him sitting there maybe they wouldn't Mo- normally they don't i can hope normally they don't and uh, the, after that there was a lot of heckling <clears throat> hmm. the second thing that there was heckling about when it, you know it would peak every time somebody from the trinamool congress would hmm and trinamool trinamool congress are no shrinking violets mm. either so you have people like kalyan banerji and kakoli dastidar you know mm. who'll give you back as good as you get so they'll go jai kali mm. the moment they go jai kali somebody else says jai hanuman then somebody says vande mataram then <laughs> then you heckle then you heckle oh ese who says Hmm. go on say a bit more and i was a jai bhim jai bhim i mean what is it that you're doing is this a school room I mean, no, the but, uh, I, I think, the parliament of india but but here's what i'm saying i think that is what the base is very strong i don't think there has been any government in the history of this country that has such a strong and consolidated base and that base is being reflected in parliament i think anyone who's under the illusion that it is an indian electorate being reflected in parliament matlab dil ko khush karne ko ye khayal acha hai lekin whatever jannat ke hai ki kaise the base is reflected in parliament it is not the regular electorate that is in because just those scenes it no, is purely no i'm sorry but i is, think a lot of people who you ask today they'll say usme kya galabad hai that's what i'm saying Agar that is the base ram bol diya to kya so galabad that is the base no the base is then you know you you have the electorate no, no, the electorate but, is the base it, no, no, 303 that, seats is nothing to be scoffed at no but that's what i'm saying i'm saying it will still reflect the base trump reflects the base he does not reflect the traditional republican so what i'm saying is this parliament reflects the base it doesn't reflect the traditional voter whether it is right or left the base has hijacked it and i think it is a function of a digital age it's not unique to india sun liya afrika mufat khoro not to brag or anything but news laundry hafta features in the top 50 in the world on soundcloud in the news and politics category for podcasts so do subscribe and see what you're missing 
because when the public pays, the public is served. When advertisers pay, advertisers are served. Subscribe, help keep news independent and free. All News Laundry podcasts are available on iTunes and Stitcher and any other podcast platform. <laughs>